I, I love this green foliage area. I mean, if you're, it depends on where you live, but uh, on the East Coast, and uh, you get this lush foliage area that's just uncommon in, in the West Coast. But um, we're actually we're in the West Coast right now, and we are going to go into a desert area in search of Bigfoot because Bigfoot does travel the Pacific Coast Trail. That's Pacific Crest Trail, Crest. and that is a, uh, a normal migratory route for Bigfoot, and um, it's just something recently that people have been traveling. They're ultralight planes, you know... The, 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 that's, the, to, that's related to the drug cartels. They're bringing drugs and money across the border on these ultralights that are virtually undetectable. And if we encounter one of those, you know, and there's a lot of those going back and forth over the Mexican border constantly. There's flying these drones. And there's people. They're small. I, I don't know. You have to look it up. Do a Google search of, uh, what's it called, ultralight planes. Ultralights, yeah. And they're not like regular planes. They're, the, the, the person's body would be out in the open. It's like a little they're almost bit of, like hang gliders. Yeah, it's almost like a motorized hang gliders. You, your body's out in the open, but you have a certain, I guess there's certain areas in this where you could stack some marijuana in the back or right behind you or something like that or on your backpack or how would you do they it? They duct tape it to their body. So it's duct tape, to, uh, you know, and if it's more, if, if it's harder stuff that sells for a lot more money like heroin or whatever, cocaine, you wouldn't have to take a whole bunch of it, but you, they're constantly flying across the border, and these craft are susceptible to crash. They're not like cars you can keep driving. In. Well, these things are getting caught up in, in uh, you know, telephone lines and, and electrical poles. Um, they're running out of fuel. And you don't have experience the people using them. It's like, they're you know, flying them at night. They the, don't even know where they're going. Exactly. A lot of it's at night. So if you, you know, and we could, we could definitely come across a skeleton. You know, or someone that's that's decomposing, that has a bunch of pot, you know, on them, and and, and also mer and also cash, and we've talked about it. I'm I'm taking the cash. Well, we'll get it all out of there. We'll get out of there what we can. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't recommend trying to see that. That I don't want to get involved in like selling marijuana. Well, well ma marijuana is legal. I know it's I mean, actually the state becoming... of California is legalized marijuana. And no, ha so no, they haven't. Other states. Have they? California is legal. Uh, it's no, they it's completely legal. legal. No, it's not. It's... Well, it's medically legal, isn't it? I know, but it's not like completely. It's not like in. It's well, not to the degree that the state of Washington State and or Colorado have made it legal for uh, recreational purposes. It's, yeah, it's kind of a silly thing at this point. It that, really is. It's ridiculous. I mean, we're going to put people in jail for a little pot. I mean, come on. Yeah, but nonetheless, you still have illegal drug cartels flying this stuff. Well, because it's a huge money maker. Now, they're they're steering away from this, so it's more of the rookies that are going after this because they're really concentrating on human trafficking because there's a lot more value in it. Of the sex slaves. The, select, the sex trade. That's, yeah, that's sex oh trade. Oh my God. We gotta talk about this next episode.